Hello, my name is Casey Taylor, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about TwinCap Package Manager today. The first thing you're going to see when you install Package Manager is a wizard that looks like this. In this wizard, there are feeds or sources where you'll get packages from. The three standard feeds from Beckoff are stable, testing, and outdated. Stable is for production code is officially released stuff. Testing is for beta testing or advanced uh, access to new versions of TwinCat code and outdated is for things such as TwinCat 2 which are no longer the current standards but you may need to access in order to support a machine. The next thing to show you is our integrations. TwinCat can integrate into Visual Studio but it also ships with XAE Shell. There has historically been one version of XAE Shell which was a 32-bit application and that is here and that is the one you will need to use if you're going to do Remote Manager 4024 or older versions. But with 4026, we introduced a 64-bit version of the shell, which is much faster, uh, quicker performance, quicker compiles, just all around better. So if you're doing a 4026 project, I would recommend that you integrate this one. I'm going to go ahead and close this screen. You can get back to this anytime by hitting this gear icon in the bottom left. The next thing to show you is up in the top left, you can actually change the views. Workloads are combinations of packages. These are the things you'll mostly use. And this is how you'll install TwinCat standard or TF products that you might be familiar with. Packages is generally a more advanced feature and I'm not going to cover it today. You can also here configure which feed you're going to use or here turn on and off this details pane over here and we'll want that on. This last one is just to refresh or re reload the screen if needed. So the first thing I want to show you is how to install software package. We've actually got a few packages installed, but we don't have the temperature controller package installed. This is something maybe I want to use on my next project. So I can click here and you'll notice in the top right, we get an alert that there's a package prepared to be installed. But I'm not going to actually run that yet. Let's also show you how to update a package. So if I come to the updates, you'll notice there's an alert. I better clear out my filter. And then I can see that there's a filter library that has an update. We're on version 32.8.1 is what's installed, but there's a new version 32.9.0. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Again, I'll see prepped another package. I'll also show you how to uninstall packages. So if I come to the installed packages, I get a list of all the packages I have. I can come down here to the controller toolbox and with this little extended menu, there's an option to tag it to be uninstalled. So I'll go ahead and do that. Once I've done those steps, you'll see in this that I've prepped for an uninstall, an update, an install. And if I click this apply modification and confirm this, it's going to go through the process and it'll give me great status along the way of what it's doing. First, it's going to uninstall the one package then it's going to upgrade the other one, and then it will install the third. Again, along the way, we'll get this status update to know what it's doing. Now, after a couple minutes, uh, we successfully installed and uninstalled and modified all those packages. We get this confirmation here, which I can hit OK. We can actually look at what happened. Great, that's what we wanted to happen. So I'll go ahead and close this screen. There's a few other key features that I'm pretty excited about with the package manager that I want to show to you as well. Over here, there's this download icon. So let's say I want to actually download some packages to share on a network that didn't have access to the internet. So I can actually come here and I can tag different packages to download. And again, they prep here with a follow on stop step once I've populated this completely that I could download those packages. The one that's maybe the best new feature with TwinCat and what will help best with Teams is a new export and import capability. So I can now take and I can export a configuration file that will define all of the packages I have on this system, including at which versions I have installed of those packages. And when I click this icon, I can save that configuration and that's just a text file. And then I can hand it to a colleague. Or if I get a new computer, I can pull that in. And by simply clicking this load configuration, it will actually proceed to install all those packages at just the right versions so that I can stay in sync with my systems. A lot of good new tools with the TwinCat Package Manager. I hope you find it useful. Please uh, let me know if you have further questions. Contact your local Beckoff representative. And we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.
拜。